this up. I do not have a single freaking idea how this is supposed to work. Yep. Look at that. That's working. Of course, this is very realistic as I'm standing on the head as it is operating. Oh, okay, that's a mod there. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Ben MSC, and today I got something for you. It's been a long time since I since I made a video for y'all, um, but today um, we're back in Farm Sim 22. I got a couple things lined up for us today, so we're gonna jump right into it. I believe it was the last video in Farm Sim that I made was in this world. This is my like my well, this is No Man's Land. The map is No Man's Land. Uh, this is like the survival series or whatever. I called it something I don't really remember, but this is what I had going on. So this is all the same, but I've made a lot of changes to the world. Um, let's go up here. I bought some land. I tilled a lot, plowed it under and tilled it and planted and, you know, a bunch of, bunch of crap. Um, expanded some of these other fields here, which I honestly, I've been really busy for the past, since I've last uploaded. Um, that's why this video is about, I don't know. I don't, I could even be a year. I might not have made a video in a year. It could, could have been that long. Um, and I'm, you know, I, I've been really busy since I, I don't even remember when I, when I last recorded a video, I don't even know if I had one of the two jobs that I currently have. <laughs> so yeah, I'm a little busy. Um, so what we're going to do today, um, I'm going to, well, first of all, I need to take this thing and I need to find here. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna take the. Uh, I'm just gonna take the chopper itself. Um, I believe. I think what I'm gonna do in a future video is give you like a tour of the entire world. So we're just gonna kind of play with it, as it is. Um, yeah, that that's probably the best because there's so much new stuff that I've done. Because there's I added an entire farm. Like this is this is an entire this is a dairy farm that I'm kind of putting together. Um, over here, I built a small town. All of that, I'll give you more of a in-depth tour some other time. So the plan for today is to first of all do this, and I want to clean up some other areas and start harvesting. Which actually, I should if I want to harvest, I need to speed up time. If only it was this this easy in real life. I think that's it, unless that's a stump right there. Is that a stump? No. I'm trying to position my camera so I can see. Um, yeah, this this entire chunk right here is kind of new. I straightened out the the end row a little bit, so it's a little more it's it's less curvy, and I cut some trees down. Um, yeah, over here, this is all new. I might as well give you a, I'll give you a brief tour of this other farm here, because we're gonna be doing a little work over here. I. Um, but yeah, part part of the reason I built that other farm over there, like addition, um, is the fact that I actually work at a dairy farm now, and I thought, hey, why not recreate? It's not, I'm not trying to recreate the actual farm that I work at, but it's a dairy farm. You know, it's a dairy farm. I work at a dairy farm, so you know, yeah, it is what it is. Now I am going to. These farms are technically separate. But I'm going to treat them as they're the same farm. Um, in the sense that I'm going to use the tractors and equipment interchangeably. Although I did purchase a bunch of Masseys. I like to kind of switch it up. The other farm, entirely Deers. This one is Massey. Which I might swap for New Holland at some point. Well, right now I have no money. But then again, I'm not really playing this for... Um, like, like a realistic economic standpoint or whatever, because I, you know, I just, I can give myself money. I think actually, there it is. So I can just give myself money. So apparently I have roughly $2.3 million in assets. I don't think, I don't have a loan, I don't think. Here, let me just, is that 5 mil? Here, I'll make it a little more realistic. There. What? Plus 20,000 property. What the hell did that just do? 
It didn't do anything. There we go. There we go. Plus five hundred thousand dollars. That is what I like to see. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take this thing and give you a brief, very brief tour. I'm gonna go in depth, a hell of a lot more in depth in a different video. So over here we got all the stalls. This is where all the cows. Now this isn't really realistic. Well, the the barns that that farm sim offers. This is actually a mod, but even though it's a mod, it's still unrealistic. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay, this there's so much wrong with this. It's it's like the cows are dying. I wonder if they are dying because I haven't fed them. I don't think they can die though. I'm pretty sure they just kind of sit there and don't pr they don't produce anything. But you know, I haven't I haven't done anything. I should have yeah 140 cows. That's the max out. And I just decided to go all of these. The farm I work at is primarily Holstein, well, it's all Holstein, and there's literally one brown Swiss that, that we currently milk. She is a bitch. She is a bitch. She does not like to be milked. She's very, she's kind of a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to glance over the fact that they're literally lying what would be in their shit, not where they would be. Um, but anyways, there's no, yeah, I'm going a little too much in depth that I didn't want to do. Um, but there's no milking parlor. Like, this doesn't even open, and there's a window here, I think. There's nothing in here, so it's kind of unrealistic in that sense. But, you know, it is what it is. It's a game, it's not perfect. I would expect the next farm sim to be more realistic in that standpoint. Um, I, I went all out in details. You know, like little crap like this. You know, little, uh, uh-oh. Get little add-ons, little pieces and bits and stuff to make it look kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, I need, I need first of all, I need that to stay going because I need this to be um, growing. These actually got a few cycles left. I got a few months. I right now it's chill up. Wait a second. Wait a second here. What are these settings set at? Three days. Why? Here, at least. I'll make it two. Um, seasonal growth, yes. Fixed visual month, off. Snow on, yeah, because I was playing this for... for I didn't want to deal with Fieldstone, because this game kind of messes messed up the way you would do it. And I don't really feel like picking rocks in a video game. Yes, weeds, lime, yep, 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 yep. Okay, I haven't looked at these in a while. Yep. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is what we're working with. I own this entire thing of land. Um, I could expand the farm this way, because I, I do own it. I just haven't, I haven't got over here yet, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it too, too much. Um, so yeah, there's really not much I can do. Actually, yes, there is. Okay, I can get, I can pop over to the other place where all my other piece of equipment are and get those set up for harvesting. I'm going to start with the field on the right here. Um, this is the big one if I'm... No, it's actually the small... Jeez, that is, this field right here is the small field. Um, so yeah, I, I try to make it a little more realistic and you know get some more farmland so it's not just two big fields in the entire map because that is kind of you know unrealistic. Um, see here, let me get this open with this combine. Come on, come on. I don't plan on finishing the harvest in this video, but I do plan on um, getting them at least partially done. Get this in a position. I'm, yeah, I'm, this isn't really realistic. I'm not playing for realism. In the, well. To a certain degree, playing with realism. I'm gonna start on this side of the field. Yeah, and there's no traffic, so I don't even have to take the head drop. I can just, oh, oh, and I'm stupid. I am stupid. I do have to take the header off because, oh shit, I might have to even buy a new header. This is a bean header. I didn't even, I wasn't paying attention. I don't think I have a corn header. 
don't think. I guess I'll find out here. I I thought I bought one at some point in time. I don't know where I would have put it. Was it in here? No. No, I'm not seeing it, so I'm gonna have to buy one actually. That's kinda and I only have one combine. I I really should, especially with the help of this AI that I have, which I'm not sure if I even had the AI when I was last in this video with, with you guys, um, recording sake. So, yeah, that's going to be new. That'll help a lot. Okay, I'm going to get the, I have the, I believe I have an X9. Shit, I haven't played, I haven't played in so long, I don't even remember what equipment. Okay, so I have the biggest, I have the biggest deer in the game. Combine, at least I believe so. So, what is the biggest? I could just, I think I might get one of, I think I might get one of these. That's 18, what is this? 15, 18. So that's nine, holy crap. Jeez, these are tiny. These deer headers are really small. Yeah, I'm gonna. Heck yeah. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go. You know, I'm gonna kind of match the honeybee headers. I'll do. That's, that'll probably be close enough. Holy shit! A hundred. I can just throw money away because this is a game. But a hundred and eighty thousand dollars for a fucking header. Also, guys, this channel, um, as you might have known, it is gonna be a little bit different. I have a trailer for this. I'm gonna find that and stick it on there. Um, me as a person has kind of, I don't know, you could say matured a little bit in the sense I'm no, I don't really, I don't really give a crap about holding back anymore. As in, you know, cussing, uh, certain things that I'll say, stuff like that. Jeez, I parked everything in the way. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pop this in here. Pop your cross. I don't know why I don't use that track. Actually, yes, I think I I think I use that this this one with the uh, front loader. I think I use that for snow removal. My uh, snow removal device. Let me get these warmed up too. I'm gonna use this to. Heck, I probably will. I'll probably have everything running at once. Because I once it once it's um, combined, I'm going to come behind it with the um, tiller. If I can get around, I got crap everywhere in this field. I need to do some. Uh, I need to do the tractor shuffle. Get this crap. I still haven't cleaned this mess up over here. Um, yeah, and we're going to be using the Mandaco storm, I believe. Yep, yep, yep. Paired with the 9620R. This thing is freaking huge. I know a guy who has one of these. I've never actually, I've never been up close to it. But I, hell, I'd love to, to ride in a tractor like this in real life. Say, so at the dairy farm, I currently milk. So the largest piece of equipment I've driven is a skid loader. Because I'm primarily milking cows and not doing field work at least not yet I'd like to at some point yeah 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 okay so I'm just gonna park this right here um, I can't do anything with that until at least a good chunk of this is harvested which I probably should have moved it um, I am gonna use the AI to to harvest I'm gonna try at least I don't know how I'm not sure how well it's gonna work actually I'm getting too ahead of myself I need to put this on the trailer first so I can get this stored somewhere and I need to move this out of the way. I think I'm going to invest in some infrastructure at some point. Um, because with the amount of equipment that I'm, um, acquiring, like, pretty quickly, I need places to store it. I wish I had a place for these, um, semi-trailers right there. Oh, speaking of which, I'm going to need those too. I'm going to need them to get these max fired up. I wish I wish there was like more controls for stuff like this. 
I wish. You know, like... Not specifically for a semi, but I'm thinking for, like, a truck. I wish I could do a burnout in a truck. That'd be kind of cool. Like, especially my... Okay, I... The, the, this, the mod that I had, I think this needs to be said. It is so messed up. Okay, I... It's a 7-3. A seven three, so that would be, if I'm not mistaken, a four. Seven three. This thing looks like a Dodge Ram, like a like a thirty-five hundred, and it even it has a bull on it. So you know, if it's like rather than being a Ram, it's a bull. Kind of. That's kind of what I. I'm guessing the mod maker probably thought of that. Um. So it has. It's just, it's kind of all messed up, you know, I don't, don't ask questions. But yeah, I should, I feel like I should be able to do a burnout. What, what is, it? okay, so that's a mod there. <laughs> that's realistic. Yes, that's, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah, just keep her moving, keep her moving. Uh, anyways, anyways, we gotta keep on moving. Get the other one fired up. Um, honestly, I think we're not even gonna get to combining today. Especially that I... I think one of my mods... Changes the speed at which the day is sped up. At... When is it? it I think it speeds it up around... Or slows it down, rather, around 5 o'clock. So the night's fast, but the days are long. Um... So it's it's helpful when you're working, like combining or doing something, but it is not helpful when. Ooh, let me see if I can fit through here. Okay, so I'm gonna need these right over here. I'm just gonna leave them here though, because I don't. Well, I don't know how. I don't think I've done corn. Well, I haven't done corn because I don't have a header. Um. So I'm not sure how fast these are gonna fill up. I'll, I'll find that out. That's something new. I'm going to turn these both off. There's no, there's no sense in just letting them sit here idle. Not like it really does anything. Same thing with this grain cart. You can sit there. Um, I need this to get the trailer out for the header. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, I need to, I need to remember how this thing works. Okay, I got, got it lowered. I wonder if I can... Okay, there we go. There we go. So it's attached there. Is there... Okay. Okay. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Oh, jeez. I just discovered something, guys. Um, I didn't know... It must have been a mod. I installed a lot of mods, and apparently I was paying attention to what. I didn't realize that I if I shift... Shift 8 and, sh and shift 7, they change my... The, how fast the time is sped up and it looks like it goes a lot faster than the default so I'm going 800 times the speed of normal time those hours are flying by and it's July 3rd right now okay I'm just gonna let it do its thing and it stops at 6 o'clock okay that's good to know and it won't let me change it I think that's because of a mod and I need to let it sit for a minute what the hell we're getting somewhere. At least now it's easy to drag it. And I actually, I might have, that's might have, <laughs> if I'm remembering correctly, that might have been where I got to last time. Oh, wrong button. All right, I'm going to head off, get the header, and get back in position. I should be able to uh, speed time up again. Yep. 1800, what? Holy shit. It's going 10,000 the speed of speed of normal time. <laughs> Look at the size of this head, guys. This thing is huge. Just this unfolded, this thing is about the same size as the other one is. And is my... I think the thing is... Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I don't even have to line up to it. But I think it was a little crooked. God, look at the size of this thing. Let's see how big it is. 18 meters that's that's pretty holy crap that thing is ginormous that's like holy shit 
Okay, well that works for me. <laughs> Hopefully I got enough horses. I should have enough horses. Might be going pretty slow. Jeez Louise. Okay, so I should be able to... I'm speeding up time again. So now it goes up to 30,000 times faster. I don't know what I did. Okay, it's still... I don't think it's ready to be harvested yet. And I need to give it a minute so I can actually speed up. Oh, there it goes. There it is. Everything's ready to be harvested. Unfold. I am very curious to how this is going to perform. So it's October 1st, which seems that seems about right. You know, like I'm out around my area, people were chopping and, and starting to combine. Well, around now, as recording, it is the. 10th, or, well, it is the 29th of October, so 10 29. Um, and it's rained a lot for the over the past couple weeks, so there hasn't been many opportunities for for farmers to combine because you know there's been little, you know, I, I hate the fact that there really aren't rows like the, the rows that you plant in don't actually they don't actually the plants don't conform to it. Yep. Look at that, that's working. Of course this is very realistic as I'm standing on the head as it is operating. Alright, here we go. Let's see, this is nuts. Jeez. Jeez. Like there there are rows, but they are just not the way I planted, because I planted well I went along the side here. Okay, so now this is what I so if I go here, create a job, since I'm on the field already, it already, it already knows the designated field. Okay, I don't know what it's going to do up here, because that's not, it doesn't need to harvest that. Um, field work, so it's kind of just going to do it. Course generator, um, rows per headland, where is it here? Uh, let's say three headlands, headlands, what is this going to look like? I'm going to set the width at 18 because I want to account for some of the corners that the AI misses. Yeah, it should be pretty good. I gotta generate it again so it might crash my computer. Well, I think I'm gonna leave it here, guys. Um, although we didn't start combining today, I did actually, well, I got pretty much everything set. You know, I purchased, I gave you a brief tour of what's changed. Um, I think the next video I'll give you a more in-depth tour. Um, of this entire this entire save so far because that would be a video on, on its own I'm a very busy person now with my jobs and whatnot, so I can't Guarantee you another video is gonna come Soon I'm not sure when the next video well I, well right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna once I finish this video I'm gonna record another one for you and I don't know we will see maybe I'll make Sunday my designated recording day which is what today is. Um, anyways, enough monologuing for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you if you did enjoy it. You know, leave comments, suggestions um, down below. All that stuff helps. Gives me ideas. Lets me know what you are you know more willing to watch. Hope you enjoyed this video. I will see all y'all next time. <laughs>